Hey guys, this is Dimitri again. Um, today we're gonna be working with the KNN um, algorithm. Okay, it's basically an algorithm to classify. Um, in this case, we're gonna classify this customer under any of these categories. Okay, I'm gonna explain you a little bit what is this. Uh, so we have the big elephant supermarket. Okay, so they classify clients based on loyalty and purchases. So if you're a guy that just purchase like from $1 to $100 and go to this supermarket maybe one to three times a week or you don't go, uh, you classify as a basic customer. On the other hand, if you go from five to eight times or more times uh, and purchase from $200 to 350 or even more, uh, you're gonna be a prime customer. So basically, we're just gonna develop here uh, a model where we're gonna use the uh, KNN algorithm to decide either if this guy is a prime, a straightforward customer, a basic customer, or just a window shopper. Okay, these are basically the classification we have for uh, these customers, and the supermarket has this limbo area. On purpose because they want to know in the future if a customer moves from here to the left to the right up and down uh, okay for now we're gonna start with the real problem we're not gonna do everything from scratch I'm just gonna show you how to do it okay so we're gonna have the loyalty and purchase as a couple of variables then we're gonna go to insert For this specific case, um, we're going to use a scatter um, graph. So it's going to be the same one. If you want to make it look better, just try to add the data labels. Okay. And you can also add legends. the axis title so here if you know Excel you know that you can change this uh, title you can say this is gonna be my KNN and here you can just type purchase in dollars okay basically we have this already here okay so I'm just gonna delete this but you know how to do it now so we have this client that we're going to identify we need to add this to this chart to this graph so we're just gonna select the graph go to select data I'm gonna go to edit and the X values we have the loyalty right so we're gonna add this for we're not I mean I'm not gonna do it right now because I already did it but then the y-axis is gonna be um, the purchases so I'm gonna have 160 here okay so you guys do it and you're gonna have this little dot here okay this is the customer we're trying to identify uh, or classify. All right. So we have all the labels already. Now we're going to go straight to the model. We're going to use, um, it's called the Euclidean uh, distance. Okay. That basically determines how far away are these neighbors. From this point so let's start 
Um, that's basically the square root of loyalty minus loyalty. Okay, then um, then you raise it uh, to the power of two, right? And then plus same thing, but with the next variable, which is purchase minus the purchase. Then close it, raise it again, and you got it. So just important thing here is try to lock this uh, loyalty and purchase because it's going to be the same for all the variables, right? So we're going to determine the distance of all these variables. Let's just drag this. And there you go, you have the distance from all of these customers around. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the rank formula. So Excel is going to tell us like um, how far each variable is uh, in order. Okay, so I'm going to say rank parentheses. Okay, the number, it asks us for the number, which is going to be this one. And then the reference is going to be this one. And then we want the ascending order. Okay, there you go. Then all you have to do is drag, okay? So basically, this is the formula. I'll show you again. Just remember, you have to lock the distance because you're going to use the same distance for every single cell here. Okay, just drag it. And this formula is going to show us which one is the... Uh, smallest and the largest uh, distance in this case all right the labels we're working with the same customers in the same order over here okay so it's pretty easy we're just gonna drag this and then the customers same thing we already have the table so all we have to do is just copy pretty much all right now we're almost done with the model so we have that this is the nearest these two let's try to find number three is here okay So what this model is saying is uh, number one, now define customer 10015, which is this one. Oh no, sorry, it's this uh, 10015, right? It's a not defined customer, so it's in our limbo area. Which makes sense if you look at the graph, you see that the nearest point is this one, right? So that's basically the one um, that the model is showing us. For this model, we're going to ignore that one, okay? Because we want to classify this under any type of uh, customer. And this is not defined, so let's ignore that one for now. And we're going to go and see the number 2 and 3. So 2 and 3, those are two straightforward clients. So if we see just in the graph, you can say that these two, these other two, and these are also like super um, close to this point. That's why we need the model to tell us exactly 
which are the three or five um, customers that are closest to this point. So finally to determine if this customer is going to be classified under prime, window shopper, straightforward or basic we're just going to do a, a, a VLOOKUP function over here, right? So we're going to ask Excel to look for this value, all right? In this array, and we need the label, and we need us um, we need to get the exact match. There you go. So it says that this K2 is a straightforward line. All right. So basically the same thing. But remember, you have to lock uh, this uh, table. And in this case, let's see, we're going to use K equal So we have three neighbors and two of them, they're straightforward. Uh, we could use K5. So same thing, we're going to drag this to 5, all right? Still, we're gonna keep with um, keep up with straightforward, and we're gonna classify this as a straightforward because then we have a prime, then we have a window shopper. But for our model, the best uh, thing I would say is a straightforward client. We can keep doing this, uh, let's say, to seven. Okay, sorry, seven. Then you got a couple of window shoppers and got a straightforward here so our best guess is straightforward so we're going to classify this client as a straightforward client there you go so according to this model all right for the big elephant for the next deals and uh marketing campaigns we're gonna target this bunch of guys as a basic straightforward window shopper or prime in order to target uh, different campaigns okay so now this guy is gonna go under a uh, straightforward customer this means that according to the strategies we're gonna try to promote uh, our new app because it's supposed to be like this straightforward customer are young professionals, uh, business people, uh, maybe local businesses, uh, very busy people. All right, so what the big elephant wants to do is uh, try to move clients from here to the limbo zone or to different uh, areas like from a basic customer to a prime customer or to a window shopper or to a straightforward all right so they're gonna try to design like different uh, marketing campaigns but they needed to know this guy um, we need a classification for that guy so they can just uh, let's say uh, try to advertise in a different way um, than other customers okay the model also let us know I mean we can do the same thing with this 300 and this 125 because if you see these guys are not under any other category so we can do the same with the model you guys you guys can do it by yourself 
and try to classify this guy over here and see if this guy is more like a prime customer or maybe this guy is more like a straightforward customer according to the model all right guys this was uh, basically uh, how uh, the KNN works it's a realistic model in this case Remember, not all the models are perfect, so this is basically a good approach um, to classify this guy. And this type of customers, um, let's say I classify this in order to... Okay, let's explain this a little bit. So, a basic customer for the big elephant uh, supermarket is the one that just you know goes once in a while and purchase just a little bit of you know let's say ten dollars maybe up to hundred but usually they buy no more than fifty dollars so it falls under this category what they call a straightforward customer in the big elephant is those guys that just go one time two times maybe three times a week but they spend a lot of money they may spend two hundred dollars two hundred eighty dollars so the big elephant classify those as a maybe young professionals you know maybe business people like they can afford more stuff but they don't have time to go all the time to the supermarket um for this case, the window shopper, they classify a window shopper of, um, as those, you know, those guys, um, those people that go all the time to the supermarket, let's say seven times a week, but they don't spend that much. So that may be another category here, maybe high schoolers or just low income housewives. Uh, that's another type of, uh, let's say, how they classify these uh, customers. The prime customers in this case, it's going to be uh, people or businesses that, you know, they go all the time there, like six times a week, seven times a week, and they spend a lot of money. Um, that's uh, pretty much everything about the classification, so you guys understand a little bit more like the model. Um, so now the big elephant, the supermarket is ready to um, launch their own marketing campaign based on uh, this classification we have here and we gotta do the same thing for these guys that are in the limbo uh, but now they're ready to launch the campaign. Um, I hope you guys uh, liked the video uh, and understood a little bit more about the concept of KNN and uh, machine learning. Uh, thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video.